Hello everyone, welcome back to Game of Thrones, the card game world championships. This is day two. Uh, so it's going to be single elim elimination bracket all the way down, and we are very excited to be bringing that to you. Uh, my name is Evan Johnson. And I'm Aaron Glazer. And we are going to take you all the way through, except not Aaron. Well, because I'm going to take you all the way till I go to the airport. Right, right. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get someone else on, uh, someone else uh, eminently qualified to talk about Thrones. Uh, uh, there is no shortage of... A lot of really good players didn't make the cut. This was an incredibly tough field. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, a really tough field. A lot of uh, a lot of good players, a lot of good matches coming up here. Uh, so this is basically the top 64, 63 players uh, qualified. And uh, so the the highest ranked player uh, from both days was Walma. Um, there were multiple undefeated, uh, so he had the best strength of schedule of them. So he gets a bye this first round, and everyone else has to play here. Uh, so the match that we are going to be sharing with you guys is Chris Thompson versus AJ Val. So Targsy of Blood versus Martell Wars. Uh, and it should be pretty good stuff. Um, so let's see. It's it's uh it's single elimination as as we mentioned. Uh, starting here now, uh, players will get to review deck lists before the match. So I believe they get about five minutes or so to take a look at each other's decks before uh before the game begins. So they can get all the knowledge on uh what what is in there. There won't be any uh tricks necessarily. So this matchup is always fascinating. Um, Martel Wars traditionally does not have many answers for. Targ Sea of Blood. Mm -hmm. However, Targ Sea of Blood is, was prevalent to an extent that I assume that uh, AJ has this heavily teched. Yeah, I would expect that AJ has had to beat at least one or two Sea of Bloods to get here. Um, and uh, we'll certainly have a game plan to uh, to deal with that. So even if he managed to avoid it completely, which is possible, like, right. um, it, uh, Leonard is always the like ideal, right? Like the ideal of I took my best deck and did not see that matchup. I, like the matchup yeah. that everyone was attacking for, everyone was ready for, and just sometimes you avoid it. Like a, it's possible AJ avoided it, but it's extremely likely that even if he avoided it, he didn't know he could avoid it, so that his deck has to be built specifically to play this as much as possible. Yeah. AJ is a Martel player through and through. Yeah. And uh, CT is a best thing in the meta player through and through. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we'll be bringing, uh, going to the table really shortly. Both players are sitting down now and reviewing uh, each other's deck lists. So let's, uh, let's take a look at those decks themselves as the players are looking at them. So as we just mentioned, uh, AJ playing some Martell Wars and uh, CT playing Targaryen, Sea of Blood. So CT, this is the same deck that uh, like Alejandro had, that Alex Black had. Yep. Uh, so, so yeah, so it's it's exactly the same. It's it is the variant that uh, runs like Valor Morghulis. Um, is kind of the I would say the key differentiator between this and other um, Targ Sea of Blood decks, uh, and uh, that it it has that that reset in case you need it. Yep. Uh, the Martell Wars, uh, I guess we'll run down the Targsia Blood plots real quick. Fear of the Colossar, March of the Wall, Return of the Fields, King of the North, Valor Morghulis, Vanquish the Unbelievers, you win or you die. Uh, so the Martell Wars here, uh, so he's got Attorney for the King at Prince Doran's behest. That plot is so good and silly. Well, uh, Attorney for the King has that no events. Yep. Yep. Very important. Yes. Uh, at the gates, two barring the gates, the champion's challenge, uh, manning to kill that military challenge, obviously, um, manning in the city walls, Valor Dohiris, Valor Morghulis, and Varus's riddle. So I would say that that's definitely a good amount of, uh, counters to... It's, on, it's honestly not as many as I thought. It's a lot. It's just... You would have thought it'd be thought it would gone be, deeper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's that point, right? Like the as you're building a deck, you have to weigh like how far down the counter hole right. do you go? You know, there's a point where it's counterproductive. Uh, counterproductive. Well, we, we do have his Viper Eyes, which is I think the big in deck counter. Yep, he's got uh, Vengeance for Elia, three X as well, um, and two Princes Plan. Yep, two Princes uh, Plan. Nice way to have 
30 strength and just be able to bounce that challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Um, looking at other things, hanging out in uh, AJ's deck that are cool here. He's running Tooth Spears, which I have not commonly seen in a, in a competitive deck, which it, is pretty cool. It's a two of. I, uh, yeah. I ran it at one, and it was always the card that like everyone's like, you should just cut that and run X important thing. And I'm like, but I really like it and couldn't quite get myself to. Um, uh, it's not supposedly meant to be used early on, but early on there's often a swing turn around plot four yeah. where like the <laughs> opponent can take over and you won't be able to recover and a two of the spears with Intimidate really, really helps you stay alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, he's got the two Dorns game, of course, to uh, so he can spike that uh, win potentially to uh, uh, seal up the game. He's running uh, the box Ario Hoja rather than Corset Ario, which I f firmly support. <laughs> Uh, I'm a big fan of that Aria. Uh, he's got some got some Dagos Man Woody in there. Uh, let's see, uh, Box Nymeria. I like that too. Box Nymeria is yep. not as good in this matchup though. Not in this matchup, no. Some Starfall Cavalry. Yeah, with Manning, they're too good. Yep. Yep. Good stuff. All right, so both players drawing up their opening hands now. Interestingly, his only attachment seems to be one Venomous Blade. Yeah, that is correct. He only has one Venomous Blade as his only attachment. <laughs> this deck often, because it wants to go so late game, runs Milk because that way it keeps going. But, I mean, this is a different build. It seems very effective. Yeah. Two Gaston. Yep. All right. AJ taking a mulligan here. CT's still looking at his deck, or at his hand. Looks like he's going to keep it. I saw an Illyria's estate, a gift from the Widow. There was an overwhelming numbers in there for sure. Sande. Blood of my blood. CT discussing his always illegal altar. Yeah. <laughs> Got to keep it. <laughs> like, let's call attention to this. <laughs> JD is our judge for this game. Judge stalling. Judge stalling. <laughs> CT starts the mind games immediately. Immediately, yes. CT wants this real bad. He is one of the greats in the game. And he was uh, one, the, one of the few undefeated players. Uh, him and Tomas and James were all undefeated from day 1A. And then uh, yesterday, uh, Alejandro was the only undefeated player. But he's never won a big one. Yeah, he's, he has it's no, true. He has no Nats, no anything bigger. It's just he needs. He's really wants a big one. Yeah, he, so he, is, he is a great player. Fantastic, yeah. A AJ as well. Uh, AJ too. <coughs> AJ travels less, so he has less opportunity for that big one. For sure. So two horse lords, uh, Masande. There's uh, that Nymeria we were just talking about. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Setting up the green blood trader. Uh, Not ideal, but it's the same you got to do what you got to do. The same amount of cards. Um, whenever you have to set it up, the the internal reminder is. I was going to get a card from her, and I'm going to get a card from her. Right. You just don't get you that. Would, you would have get the choose, yeah. 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 Um, I'm very curious if van the Vanquish Open happens with Masande set up. Yeah, it seems uh, less likely than usual. Obviously, he's got three Masande in the deck. Um, Vanquish is typically the opener. Um <coughs> I mean, aside from that, he doesn't really have a good opener, right? You don't necessarily want to open Fury at this point. Um, and none of the other plots are really great, at open. Really great yeah. here. So he might just take the loss of Masande. Um, <coughs> it's very good for AJ who wants to go long if he doesn't. So Sure, yeah. Okay, so do it, go and king in the north. King. Okay. And then uh, Dorn's behest. So yeah, uh, keeping Masande around, obviously, by opening King, but uh, not really when you would want to use that. It can be if you have the right target for a Puts of the Torch, because it will stop shenanigans. Yeah. But that was a interesting move. Yeah, he does have the gifts from the Widow in hand, so he can run and grab Beggar King. Okay. Um, so it won't at least, uh, you know, 
impact him negatively, but uh, I agree that typically you would want to save that uh, until a more critical turn. Uh, anyone who wants to look for the cut, it is on Challenge. Yep, Challenge slash Agot Worlds 2019. 2020 has been so bad, we're just ignoring it. <laughs> well, it is the 2019 Worlds, I suppose, in, in a sense. Uh, okay, so Behest in at the gates on uh, on AJ's side. Grab. Oh, that's the river gate. Uh, okay. You run my siege? I just like I didn't look at your necklace. It's one of. It's the oh, it is a one of. Is it? Maybe. There's certainly a number between zero and four. <laughs> uh, I promise. AJ resisting CT's mind games. <laughs> Any before draw? Nope. Right. I love those orange sleeves. Those are those are classy. Yeah. All right, a Gaston I see over on. Uh, AJ's side. Not useful in this turn. There's a Colossar. And, keep, uh, keep it on the table, pal. That coin's staying on the floor forever. <laughs> it does not deserve to be on the table with us. AJ very obviously looking to populate with military where possible so that he doesn't get blown out on turn one. Yeah, uh, and he's helped by the fact that CT does not have a ton of... Uh, military out. He drew into a Colossar, but he won't be able to play it um, traditionally because he can't use his Illyria's estate until he has a king, and he needs to pay for Gifts of the Widow in order to get that. So he actually won't be able to marshal that Colossar unless he has uh, like a King's Road in hand. Or I'm not sure if I saw one. Or if he can overwhelm us with his numbers. Right. Oof. That's brave. That Cletus turn uh, one. Yeah. Saving three gold there. Would assume he has a princess plan in hand, although we did not see that yet. Yep, there's the gifts from the widow. As expected. Let's take a look at those events quickly. Vengeance for Ellie as well as a possibility. Yeah. Although you hate to use that on the one claim. Yeah, right. <laughs> not ideal. I, I wonder how many times AJ has vengeance like a two or three claim he throughout not, this tournament. He has not played. There's this a King's is his, Road. This is his first uh, Targ Steel match. Oh, really? Targ. Sea of Blood. Sea of Blood. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I just wish it was Targ Steel. <laughs> I like Targ Steel much more. Uh, oh, Womb of the World. Nice. Did he just... Overwhelming numbers is not active. Why would Martel keep three gold? It's insane. I will Correct. pass three challenges as well. <coughs> All right. Uh, declare an intrigue. Sure. Got to do that intrigue poke. Wait, ooh, interesting. I would have assumed that CT protects his hand. Yeah. I think Martel's hand is effective, but he's got draw, right? Right. Um, Is there... No scheme in this? Secret schemes? Yeah. Uh, correct. AJ is not playing secret schemes. Well, that's a surprise. Uh, he is playing Dorn, of course. Yeah, but that secret schemes turn yeah. like eight to just turn everything around. Oh, nice. Around. Pulls the Colossar. <coughs> Again, overwhelming uh, numbers makes intrigue less effective right. by an awful lot. Right. That looks like Torch in hand, I believe? Yeah, there's a Torch in hand. Pass challenges. And yeah, but if he's able to uh, flip something big off of Womb and push a military through, he'd need to get to 12 strength, though, to win by 5, which seems unlikely. Well, maybe. It's th these guys are now 3s. Right. Three, three, so, so he's at 11. Six. Yeah, it's 11. Yeah. That is... Who is that? Drogo. Oh, that's Drogo. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Call Drogo. No overwhelming numbers active is still helpful. Yeah. Um, action to you. I will pass. Secret Seven. teams for eight cards after uh, 
after sorry <laughs> I, I was I was I was figuring out if he should defend or not in my head at the same time I was discussing that. Um, yeah. But secret schemes in uh, taxation after you've done reserve late game is incredibly strong, and I'm very surprised not to see. Oh yeah. All right, just taking the entry claim on opposed. Trying to stop oh, oh pulls right a door. Side. No. Oh, that breaks my Martel heart. <laughs> Dorn is very hard to play in this matchup anyway because it's it such is a hard tempo hit. and it can easily get torched. Yeah, although it is, I think his only well, no, that's not fair. He's got uh, the Starfall Cavalry. It's draw. Yep. Deep thoughts, many thoughts. Yeah, so he could. Alter? Yep, he's got to do two six. here. Yeah, this way. Yep. It forces through both. Yep. Let's see if that... uh. If he has a vengeance. Vengeance is in hand. Yep. It's going to be big. Now would be the time. That Targaryen house card is uh, irritating because it's already knelt. You can't <laughs> kneel it. Oh, nice. Prince's plans. Good sure. stuff. Getting People who uh, kneel their agenda instead of their house card is a big pet peeve <laughs> of mine. Is it? <laughs> oh, oh, you yeah. would hate watching me. <laughs> it's not okay. It's not the card that's supposed to be knelt. <clears throat> Renown and Keldrogo, uh, although it'd be useless. Done? Also, it drives me completely crazy that Woman of the World is also a draw. Yeah. Oh, that card is too good. <laughs> yeah. If it were just, like, discarded yeah, after. Yeah, it gets discarded right? after it, but no, it goes back to your No, hand. it's just like, no, it's, uh, it's, it's also a draw card. But it's a four-cost location. It has to be that good. <laughs> uh, uh, one thing Targ did not need. <laughs> All right, so it looks like AJ is considering barring here. Certainly good against uh, one of his two barrings. Certainly good when there's a womb of the world in play. Yeah, and it seems reasonably like the fear of the Kalasar is the next play. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see Fury. Uh, AJ's hand is uh, not flush with characters. He's got the call Drogo in there, and he has the blood of my blood. Overwhelming numbers as well. Roaming numbers is kind of stomped by Bard. Yep, calling out in the chat that AJ missed pulling back Prince's plan. Oh. That is actually humongous. He, though I believe he's at reserve, so maybe he uh, decided not to if he knew he was just going to discard it. But I think he's at seven cards in hand. I feel like every time I play this target matchup with uh, Martel Wars, they immediately get a Miranese Market and shuffle away at my Prince's plans. Yeah, he does have plus one from the Summer Sea port, but. Fear of the Kalasar into his that part? Yep. Oh, no, yeah, it's Green Sword. You're good. Barring definitely a good pull. We have enough gold to hard cast Caldrogo, which is where I assume we're going. Knights of the Sun and an event. No. <coughs> Might have been a Doran's game. Didn't quite get a look at it. Not what you want to see this early, but always nice to have. Nothing's worse than when that's one of the bottom three cards of the deck. Yeah. <laughs> AJ had plus one reserve, apparently. Right. I'm not sure how many cards he had in his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. One for yeah, he could have done Yeah, I, ca I count he probably could have. Yeah, just a missed trigger. Yep. All right. I try and keep it sideways in my discard. Yeah. This way. 
pop in one of those King's Roads. Uh, looks like he's deciding between Drogo and Drogon. Yeah. yeah. That seems like the right play. He's real good. AJ might be forced to reset. <laughs> Drogon is not a thing that Martell answers. It. No. The third Oof. horse lord. Oof. This is not where you want to reset either. Yeah, he does have two resets, so he has a bit uh, more flexibility there. I think it's a two the spears, actually, is mm. that other event that AJ just drew. Also not useful yet. Right. That, you know what would have been useful? That Prince's Plants. This is not a good spot for AJ. Green Blood Trader. Can't see quite what he's picking between. Nope, but he picked one. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's got a Dorn in the back of his hand there. Uh, that might be an Obara. Begging brother, that could be good uh, to stop, stop that Drogon. Drogon. Yep. Yeah, that almost has to be the play. Doesn't seem like it's going to be. But. Yeah, I mean, clearly he has a different plan. Hey, Gaston. Okay, make him pay for that Drogon again. Yeah. Uh, well Drogon not. would still get the trigger, though. Yeah. Yep, there it is. There's the begging brother. Hey. Uh, correct, Chris Thompson only has one return to the fields. Let's see. So, uh, Jimmy suggested saving Behest, and I very often do save Behest with uh, Martel Wars. But the Masande and setup, I think, changes that because you need to be able to react to whatever he does. Starts with just a little intrigue. Almost certainly an opponent. Yeah. Uh, oh. Interesting. Well, I guess there's no military icon on that, right? <laughs> right. It's easy, has four reserves, so your own entry is less. Entry? No, not challenge. Oh, oh so you're right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'm not passing my oh, okay. military <laughs> challenge, <laughs> I AJ. Challenge I'm like, I was really? Really? I'm like, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Jimmy. Perfect world indeed. Military for everybody. Yeah, how many need to come to... He's got six. If he, if he sends all three of them, that's 15 total strength. Yeah, seven will not do it. Um, the horse lords all need to be attacking to count to boost their strength. Correct. All right, I'll do military. All right so, so he's swinging military for 15 here. We are going to see a sea of blood trigger. Yep, he does not have any gold saved. No. But I believe that sea of blood trigger can torch the Gaston. Yeah. Uh, no, because he could use the Gaston because sea of blood is a trigger. Oh. Okay. And then playing the torch is separate, so he could no use the Gaston between. So your first reaction. Also. All right, I will start with C. Sure. All right, so he's just giving it to him on a post. Yeah, makes sense at this point. And 
Must really wish that was a different name area right now. Yeah. Looking at the lay siege. Yep. Yep. Do it. Use the gas to Cars in the room? I have five. five. You have to recognize that the torch must be in it. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Good. Reaction window to me. Cars in your hand. I think you still play the torch here, though. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, it's not a great now target. You have six. Yeah. Uh. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you know he runs Doran if you run exactly one, right? Sorry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll be able to recur it. Yeah. I would I would play it here. Yeah. Okay. Take hitting the gate. I will pass. Same. Two click. Uh challenge was on post. On post. Oh, that brother is gone. Yep. And I will pass challenge. Uh, no pre-challenge actions, I'm assuming? I do not. Let's go for intrigue. Challenge is unposed. Try uh, to pull so that. Actions for me. Yeah. yeah, if you can pull that Drogon. It's yeah. the only one in the deck. Uh, overall, my number is still a good pull. Uh, yeah. Actions. But he can search for that. Yeah. Go to uh, mil uh, military. Challenge is also unposed. Uh, reactions unposed. And before? No. I'm fine here. Mm. Okay. Interesting, not the Masande um, dude. Yeah, she is the Beggar King, so I can understand why to keep her alive, but yeah. She's duped, is she not? Yeah. Yeah, I would have thought the dupe on the theory of uh, eventually you wouldn't play Vanquish. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the order turn matters there. You play the big bro because if he triggers Drogon before Sea of Blood, you're in a bad situation. Exactly. A lot of choices right. are not easy right now. Um, CT, does he march? I, he almost certainly has to march. March seems all right here because uh, he doesn't want to vanquish. Yeah. I guess he could play Winter You Die, but that does given, not seem optimal. Yeah, given his hand, he doesn't want to lose Drogon and Drogon. Right. Um, uh, could see another bar in here from AJ. Yep. Ah, yep. Uh, he is going back question. Interesting. Then not losing that Masande dupe is extra strange at this point. <laughs> yep. There's another Dorn. Um, all right. The count's five. Cannot be saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to be the mule that played against a lot of wildling decks for a while. I know how to Yeah, that is, that is so weird. I guess he just wasn't, uh, wasn't thinking ahead to his next plot. Yeah. yeah. Which is not very CT-like. No. Yeah. The pressure of the final world's cut. Both of our competitors struggling to touch. Yeah. AJ does have uh, Quentin in his hand, who will finally be relevant here. Mm -hmm. Nice and cheap. Five strength. Mm -hmm. Stay. Call Drogo. Drogo. Yep. Drogon being an obviously poor play with Vanquish out. Right. What is it? Blood no, Rider. Blood Rider. Yep. So he pumps nothing but himself. Uh, correct. Yep. Oof. I don't know if he can survive this. No milk is an interesting decision. His milk here would be humongous. Yeah. With no torch, Dorn is relatively safe. If you know your board's going to be wiped. Yeah, if you're, uh, unless he's got a way to stop it. I think playing Dorn is probably the 
optimal. Because uh, let's see, be at eight, sixteen max military. Play Dorn, Duke Dorn, and then at least you're in cards for the rest of the game, even if it's it tough for covering. Yeah, because AJ can always Valor here and just wipe CT's board because that Masande is going yeah. away. Right. Although I would assume we're about to see return next turn. Yep. Quentin. Still four goals. Looks like he's fighting. Right, but but you wouldn't have played the Quentin if you're yeah, uh, yeah, if planning you're, on. Mm -hmm. huh? It's the sun. Okay. Just saying I will try and match your military. So he's up to 16. With the barring, that's reasonable. Wow, that is... That's a bummer. Big. <laughs> that last horse lord would have looked real nice right about now. So, playing Dorn doesn't force you to counter because there's no other puts of the torch. Like, even if your board is wiped and you're just taking a lot of claim for two turns... It's kind of not the end of the world because Drogo's not closing. He's not gaining that much power that quickly. Mm -hmm. your, your opponent will be at, like, 10 power, but he has to return next turn at that point, and if you can hold off one turn before you play your counter, yeah, you're effectively ahead, right? Like, you've won. Right, right, right. I, I don't necessarily think it was the right play. Being able to just win military for a turn is humongous, but, like, eventually the entire purpose of this Targ deck is that it's going to overwhelm you with numbers. Overwhelming numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, throwing in everything for the military for 16. So, so you're going to lose this because this is 16, right? And yeah, I think AJ has 16 as well. I think you defend with 12. Exactly. Which So you leave someone standing, you'll be able to hit back yep. with one of your own challenges. And you lose a uh, Knight to the Sun. Although, maybe you keep the Knight to the Sun because Knight trait matters. I wouldn't be surprised to see the immune to events next turn. Yeah. Nine. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Deciding <laughs> which one to kneel. Yeah. Sixteen two thirteen. I will pass it. Pass it. Any responses? I pass. No. Oof, two claim. Rough. Yep. Oh. Whoa. Gotta take no that Nim over the Quentin. You need the strength. Yeah, I was definitely expecting the claim Nim. Like she's good, but <laughs> I mean, I also might. Oh, interesting. I also might pop Valor next turn. For sure. Four cards in hand. Five, five. Yeah, I expect he's just gonna hit him in trick here. Yeah. Although well, that does again telegraph the Valor, telegraphing the Valor. I really kind of hate return to the fields. Um, <laughs> but like telegraphing that Valor is dangerous. If he recovers too well, you still just lose. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he's got a two of the spears. Yeah. Yeah. Get ahead of both. Two the spears? Boom. Yeah. It's good. You get both. Best of both worlds. <laughs> I'll both. No reactions. Yep. Nice. What was that? Blood of my blood. Yeah. Oof, that is big. With yeah. both bar and gun. Okay. Just burning through those horse lords. I got nothing. Push. Yeah, that name area without any way to lose Dom is not doing a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I could definitely see AJ playing something else to try and bait out yeah, yeah. Turn, turn in the field. Turning, turning for the king makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it'd be spicy. You just, uh, although at that point, again, name area is a weird save. What was that? Let me see that thing. Champions Challenge. Right, so six, okay. 
and uh, marched yeah, over on CT side. Oh, this isn't the last thing. I have to play the male character. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh, no, once per phase. So it'll let him just okay. nuke that military challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, CT has two of them. Thanks, AJ. You're welcome. Um, initiative. And it is limit once per phase. Six, uh, yep. Yeah, six. Okay. yeah so you can only do it once. But Side, not so good with Drogo on the board, but How rude. How still pretty good. I'll be yeah. What was the march? I will march. Oh, oh, it hasn't happened yet. No. <laughs> I think... <laughs> and we are horse lord free. <laughs> Incorrect. Damn. All three have been used. Oh. Ooh. You're a good player. You're a I good don't player. understand <laughs> player, I the prioritizing that of him, that <laughs> initiative. Uh, it's just more important. <laughs> Draws a Dark Star and a House Dane. Come on now. Escort. Come on now. Uh, which Dark Star? Uh, uh, from the King's Boot box. The, it's, uh, um, it's the, the st stealth and steel and icon. That would be incredibly useful if you had kept Sir Cleus. Yeah. Because <laughs> then you win initiative starting basically next turn for the rest of the game. And just take away the icon that's causing you trouble. Yeah. I, uh, I, that's a... Uh, uh, someone asking if he's playing more than one Nymeria and hoping for dupes. Let's take a look. Uh, no, he only has one Nymeria Sand. She, she kind of doesn't draw cards because CT is never going to not just kneel everything and run out of gold if he can avoid it. Who is that? Jogo. Ah, thank you. Oof. Five so yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. Take it. He's plus five. He's plus five and has stealth. You know, no yep. big. Yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ooh, plus six. Horse Lord. Ah, uh, not Horse Lord. Blood. Devoted Blood Rider. Yeah, AJ still has not seen any Vengeance for Elia. Or uh, HV. Yep, neither one. Either of which would have been really, really good. Again, knowing that uh, that put to the torch is there. How many Cletus does he have? He has two in the deck. AJ yeah. has two Cletus. He could have just been protecting it. It's just... Yep. You got it. There's Dorn. Dupe, super important. And now we play the two drop. Do you claim it? Well, he's going to win the two military challenges, so the two drop would just die. No, he won't win the two because of the agenda. Oh, sure, sure, sure. The plot, excuse me. I see what you're saying, yeah. So you want to plead us, like if you've protected it for this long, you Who almost you? have to just. Yeah, right. I will win. All right, Shock. Womb of the World. Ooh. Ricaro. Braided Warriors. Yep. Hi, Ricaro. At least discard the other cards. Do something to make this better. <laughs> I hate Womb of the World. It's like it was like, we need to make something better than Dorne. It was like, no, Dorne was already dumb. Yes. <laughs> and Tar's power level is so much higher. Uh, that card is amazing. Yeah. Supposed to march when I haven't played. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have zero dollars, correct? Correct. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't Where think he's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Military stealth. For a lot. Yep. Go ahead, AJ. Cancel the challenge. I dare you. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I cancel the challenge. <laughs> yep. Cancel the challenge. Mm -hmm. Go off to your sandbox, Jojo. Um, pass free challenge. I will pass as well. Military, military, boardway. No green icon, but a pseudo green icon. I would assume we're going to see put to the sword here. Uh, 
Uh, yep. Pass pre challenge. Or pass pre blocking challenge. Action. I don't know, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways. Not keeping our stream family friendly. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our overwhelming numbers. Doing the oppose. Oh, overwhelming numbers. Just using it as draw. Yep. Oh, that's nope, totally Using fair. it as two claim. Action you. I, I mean, you could also put to the sore. There's yeah. yeah. Any just, number of ways that you could but kill both it, of them. Now it doesn't matter. <laughs> reaction, reaction to me. Search in with Sea of Blood now. It's a really awkwardly timed question. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave me alone. I'm in the middle of a series of triggers. I'll take another Grab another overwhelming number. The last of the three. Yeah. Yeah, no markets yet on CT side. Yep, that's so always no way danger. to recur those. Trigger reset, reaction uh -huh. I think that's You got it. Yep, so he's triggering Dorn here. Not showing us. No kindness yep. on <laughs> AJ. Like a good Martel player. Is that random correct? So he's yes. gonna lose a card for a Caro. This one. You weren't supposed to pick it for that one. <laughs> Which is that? That's a uh, Obella. That's a uh, you Got know him. if she gets entry claim, then you move a power <laughs> and she gets shuffled back in your deck. But he didn't trigger. Wrong her. challenge time, CT. Because it wasn't entry claim. Entry. Oh ha! Huh. It's for Caro. Yeah. Oh, it's not just one discard. No, it's entry claim. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Damn it, CT! Claim it too, baby. <laughs> I will decline. I, I will decline my pillow trigger. <laughs> Declining oh, to pillage, You're so <laughs> he's calling it out. <laughs> that, that's good. You knowing what you're doing. Not just forgetting it. Yeah. <laughs> Get more Dorn cards. She's not as amazing as she was when she was running that tournament. <laughs> no, she was not. Not as good as we thought. <laughs> not as good as we thought. Yeah, that Dorn Anything is no. going to be really important to potentially keep AJ in this game. All right. Do you have any actions? Nope. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> so back to hand, back uh, to hand, back to hand. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Ricaro's from... Yeah, it was Ricaro, not, not Jogo. Jogo, I marshaled. You are R correct. Ricaro. Yep. That is good. Correct. Good, that good, is good. Correct. We're good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dom's bush. Mm -hmm. Ricaro, Jogo, Franco, Bobo, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Here, I have a reserve of five. I have three I have now we play the Valor Chicken Gate. Yeah, it's a uh, CTS to ditch a couple cards here. What was the last one? Uh, Beggar King. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. I would have assumed more Dothraki since he has overwhelming numbers. Yeah. Let's see if we return in Valor. Yeah, if it's return in Valor. That that's is probably bad. game, yeah. right? But yep. But if, if AJ doesn't Valor that, mm. and CT like flips like Winter yet did you die or something like that, then that's also probably game. Um, I'm sorry. You're good. I don't know. Still only six power. If you can't close. Eighteen and a half minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's like fair. I might wait one more round before the Valor, but. But uh, oh, there it is. You yep. got it caught. That is almost certainly game. Yep. Good play on CT. Uh, I see a Viper's eye. Good timing. Yep. Let's see if that market is finally there. That market is unbelievably huge. Uh, no, it doesn't nope, look it. no market. Still no market. Whoop. We finally have that vengeance. Oh, does he have one in his hand? Yeah, that would. That could help. Braided Screamers. 
Not screamers, warriors. Lots of little fellows. Yep, just spamming out a bunch of, bunch of hoods. However, Womb of the World is still going to go find a big guy in over overwhelming numbers is active during any military challenge. Yeah, and so AJ did use his Valor here. CT's going to hit his own Valor in two more plots. Yep. So. And AJ knows that. I mean, I don't know if that's an incredible recovery. It's yeah. what Return to the Fields does. Your challenge. Save. Just saving three gold. He's got the his Viper Eyes, I believe, and yep. Vengeance for Elia, so. Yep. Vengeance won't hurt that bad, right? And he can, maybe if he remembers, finally get that princess spot back. Start with <laughs> that will be unopposed. Responses. Uh, do you have any reactions? No? No. Thor. If he has your responses, he has passed. Next turn, that is accurate. All of them. Beautiful. I hate you. <laughs> love it. You love it. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah. It's fine. We're going to get one. We're going to get one. Yeah, you're going to get another one. We're going to get another one. But I could have gotten two. two or three. We're going to get cards all day. Right for size? Three. Three. Yes. Three challenge. I pass. <laughs> reactions. Uh, uh, reactions. <laughs> You're fucking killing me. You're killing me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Anything else? Princess plan. <gasps> oh, he's oh finally. Back. I feel <laughs> better. Uh, if he did that he before, he, he would have. That might have been the difference. <laughs> See a blood trigger. I will trigger see. So I think at this point you keep the vengeance for the power challenge on the wind die turn next. Yep. And uh, absolutely. Yep. And then when CC has to valor himself. Yep. That's uh that's the line. Let's see if AJ sees it. Uh, Looks like he pulled no. uh, Shadow of the East, I think. Flame is Potential to vengeance? No. <laughs> no. I will pass out. Oh, no. I forgot my thorn. That's I, I know, I, I know. asked. We're both terrible at this game. <laughs> You're dumb. Yay. CT's power see. total is? Uh, womb? Correct. Uh, uh nine. Everyone is okay. So if the vengeance for is on a power challenge. Five, six, then he will survive one more turn for CT to have to battle himself. Yep. CT is obviously saving things in hand. For uh, that does he have a vengeance? I, don't, I didn't see one in his hand when he... He does not. The yeah, chat, he just flipped through his hand really obviously. The chat said he had one. I believe them. They do. He does not. He does not. There's no There's no vengeance for Elliot in his hand. Hey. <laughs> Venomous Blade. That's a cool card. So you're down to... Seven. Yes. Cool, cool. Ditching the Venomous Blade? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's not happening. Yeah. I am ready. I'm so ready. Uh, you could riddle, uh, assuming it's wind die. Yeah, that's that a good sense. choice. You got me. <laughs> Cards for everybody. 
Let's try to get the cards. I... You're first, CT. Just move on. <laughs> I don't know. I got Doran. I got Summer Sea Port. I don't know. Blood Orange Drove right here. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, two, four, seven, eight, five. Oof, we're almost at time. I'll keep going train rolling, I guess. Right. You can draw first. Sweet. Because I am a giving person. <laughs> yeah, AJ is going to be in trouble if... Uh, I mean, even if he survives here, ha. he's going to have to struggle to uh, pull it back in time. Yeah. My assumption ha. is Calder... Well, Doran's game does a lot of that work for you. That's true. <laughs> With no board, not quite as Yeah, much right. <laughs> Uh, CTs might be. <sighs> He's in danger though. If he can't close here, no hand and no board, no board and no. Is Th that not does suck. Real, I mean. Yeah, because you gotta ditch all those cards. Yeah, you're just wooming for dupes at that point. Drogo. Yeah, you might be able to close here though. If AJ did draw into a vengeance, it'll be okay. Yeah. Can't wait to lose yeah. all these cards. Uh, just got man, a, I'm not seeing one. Got a green blood trader, it looks like. There's a two the spears. Yeah, a green blood trader. So you got to drop that using your two reducers. Yeah. Man, he has dug, gone through so much of his deck. They're just two for threes. I don't see those guys. Two We've gone through so much of his deck and not see uh, mm -hmm. a vengeance. That's, that's the way it goes sometimes. Boo! Flame soap! Boo! <laughs> no! Stop! Soap. Boo! We do not Here like comes. guys who don't matter. Boo! <laughs> yep. I'll respond uh, by flipping King Plot again momentarily. Set of Viper's eyes. I don't know. <laughs> Viper's eyes is not what you want now, though. Like it no. doesn't do what you want. You need to stop. You need to be able to bounce a power from there. Right. I got a Dagos. <laughs> I think you have to stop here. Oh, you're gonna kneel. Okay. That's fine. Yep. 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 He yep. won't yep. four gold. Looks like playing Marcella. Oof. Well, that's hot. Because you wanted. Oh, you. Oh, Prince's Plan is just so much better than everything else. Yeah, yeah, you really want to be able to play Prince's Plan and. <sighs> block, uh. Prince's Plan for plus six or whatever it is is nice. It might even stop a military if he doesn't do it right, right? Like right. If he just militaries, militaries, and he can't stop it, then I guess you want the extra body. I mean, if CT really does his challenge is bad, you could uh, stop the power and the military will. since Marcella yeah. doesn't defend. Yeah. That would have to be pretty bad. <laughs> uh, and here's... Yeah, some reinforcements coming in. Yeah. Probably Kaholo. Take the guy who keys off the 36 cards. I'm going to lose this turn. Okay. That intimidate is good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now's uh, a good time to finally likely see that puts to the sword, too, for whatever's not intimidated. <clears throat> Use plots. Yep, counting the number of used plots. Obviously, he's aware of that prince's plan that is in hand. I believe this is CT closing. Nine. Yeah, because there's 11. no vengeance, so there's no way that twelve AJ 13, can really 14. stop him. Yeah. Yeah. So CT's got this. CT closes this turn. Yeah. Unless there's Barring some mistakes. Yeah. Now we will overall numbers to make this 
overwhelming. <laughs> Oh, if you don't defend, he can mm -mm. keep the overmilling numbers. Settle on a trigger, put Marcelo to the sword. Yeah, too many plays. Yeah, yeah. Unless, well, no, he has no gold. Oh, he has two gold. Yep. He does have two gold. Looks like he is going to fight it out, play the Prince's plan on Marcella. Uh, I'm not, I just, that's not good enough. Don't do it. Like, it, you still lose that route, right? Right. Like, you just have to not and dig. Stopping that power challenge does win you the game, and everything else loses you the game. I mean, you're pretty much losing the game no matter what. <laughs> If you see that Vengeance, you survive one more turn. He's got no board, no hand. Yeah. And you see where you are. Okay, grab that put. Yep. Marcelo. Nope. That looked like Vengeance. Far right card in his hand. Hard to say, but I think that was Vengeance. Uh, the far right card was Prince's plan. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There it is. That one torture dude? I should have took the Viper's eyes. Is oh. The <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about next turn. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, wasn't, I forgot about the Sea of Blood. Oh, you you forgot about Sea of Blood against Sea of Blood? <laughs> oh uh, no. I mean. Well, there it is. That's a. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> awesome game. Uh, AJ, you know, even though it was uh, falling uh, quite a bit behind, I think that uh, he got a. Uh, Kind of burned by uh, just not seeing a lot of those Answers. cards that would be yeah. really impactful. In that's, this. Uh, that's why you run secret schemes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An extra six cards there would have looked real, real nice a couple times. Yeah. Um, and, but also. Also, yeah. don't bottom your his viper eyes when you're playing and see it blood. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And also, uh, as I mentioned in the chat, Chris Thompson uh, catching uh, the Valor with Return to the Fields was really what, what tied it up um, in terms of this game. Well, that was awesome. So this is the top 64 match. We're going to run out there and see who else is, who's who's winning, who has uh, lost out. Best of luck to CT as he continues on in the bracket. Congrats to AJ for making it this far. And uh, we'll be back with the top 32 game at about 11.20. We'll so. catch you then. Thanks for watching. See ya.